My name is Michaela Weiss, and I work with the Global Forest Watch project. So Global Forest Watch is an online tool that provides information about when and where the world's forests are changing and makes that accessible to anyone without any kind of specialized software expertise. And my role in that team is working with our various research partners that produce the satellite-based information about forest loss. So these satellites are circling the earth, they're capturing images of everywhere, and then we're using cloud computing and AI in order to process those images and essentially detect deforestation on the ground. But the problem is when there's clouds, we can't actually see the ground to detect that deforestation. And so in some cases we're detecting deforestation, you know, several months after it happens, which makes it a lot harder to have an effective response. So that's something that we're trying to overcome using new technologies, um, such as radar information, because the, the radio waves aboard these radar satellites can actually pierce through cloud cover. We work a lot with uh, community organizations on the ground or indigenous peoples who have a, a very particular area that they're interested in and that they're responsible for. We also have a lot of partnerships with governments, um, protected area staff, people who are responsible for overseeing um, and, and preventing illegal activity. So one of the groups that we have worked with is Rainforest Foundation US that works with a number of indigenous communities in the Peruvian Amazon to make use of this information and follow up on deforestation. Um, and so through this process, basically the communities are going out um, with smartphones, they're equipped with this satellite-based information and they can find more easily where there are people who are basically invading their land and, and causing deforestation. And so as a result of this program, you know, they've been able to one, alert the authorities about what's happening, two, make it clear to the people coming in that you know this kind of behavior doesn't happen without consequences. And so they've managed to reduce the deforestation rate in many of these communities by a significant amount. And so we're talking about huge areas of primary rainforests that are being cut down across the tropics, cut down or burned or are part of new roads. Um, and that, that's going to have really major impacts on carbon emissions, on biodiversity, and on the people who depend on those forests for their livelihoods. One area where we're actually seeing some good news is in Southeast Asia. Uh, both Indonesia and Malaysia have seen four years in a row of declining rates of primary forest loss, which is pretty incredible. Of course, that doesn't mean we can be complacent, um, especially you know as, as nations are trying to recover from the pandemic, as palm oil prices go back up, we need to be vigilant to make sure that that happens. Uh, but still, it is very promising to see an area where we actually are seeing those reductions in primary forest loss. <laughs> 